Hi, I'm Laura Volpentesta from Fashion Illustration Tribe, and today I'm going to answer a question for you that I get asked all the time. In fact, I think I have other videos on this topic, but I still get the question again and again, so I'm just going to make a new video about it today. I'm a fashion illustrator, fashion designer, and I've been teaching fashion illustration and design sketching for 15 years at Parsons School of Design. I've also taught pattern making, sewing, and draping, so I have a very well-rounded set of skills and I love um, teaching all of them so you can especially enjoy your gifts and grow and enjoy the expressing yourself through fashion and art. So today, how can you get more movement into your drawings? So in my course, um, st students will often say, you know, yeah, I can feel I'm progressing, but Laura makes it look so easy and my drawings don't look as loose as hers. Looseness and comfort it, is something I emphasize a lot in my classes because I feel like that kind of looseness and vitality in your drawing is what brings the woman to life on the page. So here's some some really good tools to do it. Um, a, the thing is that most people come to fashion illustration expecting to already start making something that's perfect. And if you try to make that perfect thing with the, ah, oh, I broke my pen full, <laughs> with a perfect line, right away, you know, you're already going to be stiff, right? Because you're like terrified and <gasps> you take that line. Ooh. So the first thing that I want to share with you, which is the first thing that blew my mind when I got to art school myself, is to use uh, something very inexact and imperfect kind of tool. This is woodless graphite. Um, you can get this at any local art store and get it in a high number B, like a very soft pencil. So this is like a 9B or a 6B. Um, you can even get like a 2B, but the softer the better. But otherwise you could use a crayon in a dark color or you could use um, oil pastel is one of my favorites. Okay, but you want to use something that's inexact to start because far before you want to get into all the details on the garment, details on the face and everything, we want to create something where we're getting the feeling, we're getting the shape, we're getting warmed up and we are analyzing you know, how to create a body that's proportionate, that's expressive. But, you know, until you get that done, you, you can't get into all the specific stuff. So that's what we start out with. I'm going to use this pencil one way that I'm going to get very much loose and relaxed is I'm going to stand up when I draw. I'll show you. I'm also going to draw with my arm. Not going to um, draw with my fingers. I think that's for writing. And that's for fine detail. We're going for what I call the macro. We're going for the overall. We're going for the head to toe, moving as quickly as you can feeling. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to hold my pencil like this. And I'm going to draw with my arm. Okay. The final thing, these are three major points. The final thing I'm going to tell you to do is in my live model classes, our models pose for a minute maybe two minutes, sometimes five minutes, three minutes. You can use a kitchen timer if you want to time yourself, but a shorter pose time means you're going to capture the essence of what you see. You're going to be forced to prioritize what you see. Students get upset at first. It can be upsetting at first to work quickly and feel like you're being rushed. The point is not to rush you. The point is not to make you suffer. The point is not to test you and tease you. The point is to get you used to having this muscle of prioritizing quickly. In fashion, it's an excellent skill to have also to, um, <laughs> to uh, be able to see something and then capture that on paper quickly and easily. So um, it's a great skill to, it's like, it's like recording quickly, okay? So two ways we're going to do that. We're going to use limited time so that you have to prioritize and capture the essence of the pose quickly. But here's the other little tip. Practice doing an exercise where you never stop moving your pencil. I know this sounds weird, but I remember the day I had to do this in class and how amazing it felt. So once you start that drawing, sometimes you won't know where to go. You'll be like stuck. You'll be like, oh, okay, I'm on the shoulder and I don't know where to go next. That's okay, but keep moving. 
And what I find is really helpful is making circles or ellipses, loops. If you keep it loopy and scribbly, then it's going to have all the curve that a natural body does, right? Every part of our body is actually round from some angle or the other. It's nothing but spheres, circles, cylinders, roundnesses. So now sometimes we interpret it as line as well. That will be another video. Now I don't want to take up too much more time. So let me take you here to a page and just show you quickly. This is just to kind of get the vibe going. What we're going to do is um, one, two, three, go. Now normally you might want to work from a magazine photo, but what I want you to see is the, that I'm standing. I want you to see how I'm holding the pencil. I want you to see how once I start moving, I'm not going to stop. And today, I urge you to give yourself the opportunity to find a nice magazine photo you like. Or you can go to my Pinterest. I'll put links below. I have a big Pinterest board with nothing but like model drawing, model poses that you can um, use for my classes. Because, you know, the best thing is having the model on hand. You want to have photos to sketch from that are head to toe. So you can really get a sense of um, sketching the body as an integrated, you know, whole thing. You want to look for photos that have strong shadows. You want to look for photos where you can really understand what the parts of the body are doing, where they're not hidden by too many clothes at first. Um, because whenever I draw clothes, I always like to feel like I know what that body is doing underneath. Now, that also comes from my own prejudices because I love dance. <laughs> I love figure drawing, you know. You can be a fashion designer without any of that. Okay, but do you see how I never stopped moving? I probably spent like a minute, minute and a half on this, and how I created a pose. I'm going to just do another one to show you one more tip, which is working several figures across a page helps a lot. It will help you get consistent with your proportion. It will help you to get um, your figures to interact with each other, which is a ton of fun. I'm drawing this girl as if she's got her back to us. Um, and again, if you're working for magazine photos or Pinterest images or whatever, you're going to have more um, specific things to reference. Okay, but you see how I already have two figures relating? Oh, wait, it's getting distorted with the proportion because of the angle of the... Anyway, something like that. You want to get that skill down first before you start getting very specific about the garment details and stuff because later you can take another piece of paper this one isn't sheer at all, but just to make a point, you know, and you could start dressing that model by designing, I'm designing a dress for this model, you know, tracing her head, but I would use more sheer paper, um, just to tell you like where this is going. If you get comfortable with the body, this way, with all the movement and livelihood, you'll be able to sketch dresses and things. In fact, if you have one figure you love, you can even use that one figure over and over and over again. I hope this is helpful for you. It's just a taste of what we do in my 15-week full-on fashion semester based on the 20 years of fashion courses I've been teaching at Parsons New School of Design in New York. I also designed their first online fashion studio course that kind of inspired me to start my own. Um, I'll put links for all my courses down below. I have other videos on YouTube. Um, and I look forward to, you, know, you can ask questions down here in the comments, stay in touch, or um, click the links and find out more about my classes today. If this is helpful for you, please let me know. Have a great day. Bye.